Ma'am, you were in mute, ma'am. Ma'am, you did not unmute yourself. Okay, so ayo, I then you shouldn't even have understood uh, insula then. Sorry, I, I didn't check like it was muted. So insula, see here, insula is an area which we see in the brain. Okay, it's a hidden fifth lobe. Basically, how many lobes do we have? We have four lobes, frontal, parietal, occipital, and temporal. If you retract lateral sulcus, inside the lateral sulcus, there is a hidden lobe, which is called as insula. Okay, so that is one. Then archaeate nucleus, generally we find in the hypothalamus beta. We did hypothalamus nuclei when we were doing physiology. Just revise it once. Anyhow, it's a short note here. Okay, then... So, winging of scapula, arcade nuclei, rotator cuff, uh, actions of lumbricals. Okay, thin skin, I will show you. Spinal cord, yesterday when we were discussing the ascending and descending tracts, I have shown you the structure of spinal cord. So, you are supposed to draw that spinal cord. Okay, I will show you the thin skin now. Histology. Do you remember the layers of thick skin histology? 
we did previously okay beta so in thin skin i hope you are seeing thin skin on the screen please confirm yes ma'am okay so in the thin skin what do we see again we will see the epidermis part and dermis part but epidermis part is not so much shown as we see in the thick skin in the thick skin you will draw all the layers like stratum basal stratum spinosum stratum granulosum stratum germinativum stratum lucidum everything your diagram will be filled with only those layers whereas here you are just going to give only few layers which shows like that is epidermis this whole thing is epidermis okay below epidermis now you are supposed to show dermis when you show uh, when you draw dermis you should make sure like you are showing one hair follicle attached to the hair follicle you are supposed to draw one uh, like uh, sebaceous gland okay and lot of red glands and certain uh, like uh, smooth muscles over here and fat droplets you can draw over here okay so this picture shows you thin skin so where do we find skin thin skin except for palm and sole rest of all parts of our body wherever we have skin that is all thin skin only okay so thin skin is that so different uh, like shavya you can share the pictures but if you have like you have shared yesterday for ovary in our group this is a simple question of spinal cord if spinal cord section is as beta you better draw it like this so outer area is white matter and inner area is gray matter so it has anterior median fissure posterior median sulcus the gray matter is butterfly shaped it has anterior horn and it has posterior horn then it has central canal then give the list of ascending tracts and descending tracts okay and actually we have nuclei also i'll show you the list of nuclei see in the gray matter you are supposed to draw the various nuclei it's not opening so the various nuclei what are you able to see on the screens there are certain nuclei yes ma'am so you are supposed to show these nuclei beta when you draw the cut section of spinal cord okay again this is anterior horn the thin one is the posterior horn okay so what are the various nuclei we have accessory nucleus ventrolateral dorsolateral phrenic nucleus ventromedial nucleus dorsomedial nucleus intermedio medial intermedio lateral dorsal nucleus nucleus proprius substantia gelatinosa of rolando and posterior marginal nucleus okay so this is one way there is also one more way of dividing the gray matter of spinal cord into laminae we have certain 10 laminae like that okay so we have lamina rex they are called as laminae of rex r e x so lamina 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no 8 and this is 9th and the center one is 10th when you draw the laminae on one side you need not show nuclei on that side one side exclusively you show the nuclei the other side you can exclusively show the laminae okay surrounding this gray matter we have white matter no in that white matter try to show the list of ascending and descending tracts okay so that is the section of spinal cord and labeling the internal structure when you draw this completely you will get complete full marks okay so um, we will stop here beta and notochord is actually the part of embryology i will discuss later as complete uh, embryology lectures for 2 to 3 days once we finish good amount of question papers okay so see you after 5 pm then and be prepared for tomorrow's exam okay okay see you all in the evening okay bye bye study well